up everybody this is Bob game and once again I'm back with another video playing Grand Theft Auto 5 without a doubt this is one of the best game everybody love to play this game but you will hate it when your game is not smooth probably that's because of your graphic settings don't worry I'm going to show you how can you increase your FPS let's get in graphics options so here we go to display and we see nothing much over here except brightness now we go to graphics. Firstly, you need to turn on ignore suggested limits to have freedom over graphical options. As you can see, this game has an option for choosing DX value. We're gonna keep it at DX11 for better performance. Screen type, full screen. Resolution as usual, 1080p. Aspect ratio, auto. Refresh rate, 60Hz. Output monitor, 1. FXA is a pretty cool option for anti-aliasing and you can keep it on. MSA is going to kill your FPS when you go to bushes or forest in game so just let it be off. Nvidia TXAA cannot be turned on without MSA. Vsync should remain off. Pause game in focus loss off. Population dens density can be set to full if you have a strong processor like i7-6700K. Population variety puts load in your VRAM so you can keep it at half or you might want to lower it down if you have less than 2 GB of VRAM. Distance scaling impacts FPS so I found it best at keeping at half for my GDX 960. Texture's quality high is optimum but you can set it to very high with a little tweak such as placing shadow cache of NVIDIA to system RAM. Check out the link given in the description below for placing shadow cache to system RAM. Shadow quality can be set to very high. Shadow quality setting at very high may not drop your FPS instantly but after a little time it's gonna drop your FPS as it needs more VRAM and system RAM. So high is fine. Reflection quality can be set to ultra or very high but ultra looks gorgeous. Reflection MSA should remain off. Water quality doesn't have much of a difference while performing between low and very high, so keep it at very high. Particles quality is normal. Grass quality at ultra is a FPS killer, so better to stay at very high. Soft shadows can be set to softer for significant boost instead of softest. Post effects at high is fine with graphics and performance. Motion blur cannot be turned on without setting post effects to very high. It goes same for the in-game depth of field effects. Anisotropic filtering provides good quality and performance setting at ATX. Ambient occlusion can be set to high. Tessellation seems like does not affect on performance so you can keep it at very high. Now we go to advanced graphics and make sure that everything over here is turned off. This is an optimal settings for low or mid end gaming PC. If you are facing any trouble while playing then write down in the comment section below and yet yeah, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos like this. Till next time take care.